Welcome back, everyone. So some will probably cry at this, others cheer, but it's already time to start thinking about the new school year. Luke Fry from the Better Business Bureau joining us this morning with some smart ideas for back to school shopping or back to college shopping, hopefully to save families a little bit of money. Good to see you again. Yes, yeah, it's nice to be here. And my mom, I'm one of four, she was always looking for a way to save some money. And your first tidbit here almost sounds really obvious, but I get the feeling a lot of people skip it. You say make a list. Yes, so number one tip from Better Business Bureau is make a list whenever you're back to school shopping. So if you have that list, you really shouldn't diverge from it too much while you're shopping. Um, since if you add an item here and there at every store you go to, again, it can get pretty pricey pretty quickly as well. And you say you can also shop your own home? Yes, so if you shop your home, you check out what you have at home so you don't buy it again. Who wants to buy things twice? not me. Um, that calculator you bought two years ago for your daughter may work for your son who needs it now. So uh, take an inventory of what you have at home so that you're not buying things twice. Also, I say take a clothing inventory as well since some, some people have their winter and fall clothes packed away. Um, so make sure you're kind of looking at what you have so you're not buying that same sweater or same cardigan you already have. And on the homework front too, you say, especially when we're thinking about some of those big ticket items, you really need to do do some research there. Yes. Yeah, so if you're buying that, you know, high priced laptop, tablet, a dorm fridge, make sure you're doing your research. Research the brands, customer reviews, any warranties, and also see what store has the best price on that item. And you say, before you even leave the house, see who's having a sale. Yes. Yeah, so check for sales. If you know what you're going to be going to a couple stores, sign up for those email and text alerts. I know they're kind of annoying sometimes, but if you sign up ahead of time, sometimes it takes a full 24 hours for you to actually receive that first coupon. So if you do it ahead of time, you'll have that the day you're shopping. All right, you're gonna put me in the hot seat here. Tax-free week is coming up and uh, you're gonna play game show host here. You have a couple questions. Yes, so Tax-Free Week is August 19th until the 25th. So I have a couple questions about the policies during Tax-Free uh -oh. Week. So true or false, uh, there is no price limit on the clothes that you can buy during tax week? I think clothes are an essential, so I'm gonna say no limit. I'm gonna say that's true. So false. Oh. <laughs> so false, each item of clothing has to be under $100 and it is tax uh, exempt. If it's above $100, it's not tax exempt. Oh, all right, and then quickly, just one more. Yes, yeah, so um, is any type of clothing tax free? True or false? Oh my gosh, clothes, isn't that the essential category? I'm gonna say that's true. So false oh. again, Keith. Uh, so it's not any type of clothing. Uh, no athletic wear, watches, jewelry, handbags, luggage, um, and footwear mm. that is worn every day is tax exempt, but not like a football cleat or something you wouldn't wear every day. All right, that kind of access so. school shopping was not happening in my house anyways. Luke, <laughs> thank you for stopping by. Hopefully we can help save some folks some money. Yes, of course, thank you, Keith. All right.